All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. And for this video, I want to talk about Gear 12 and Gear 12 Plus and the bottleneck associated with both of those things. So I do look at them separately, even though they work together to get you to Gear 13. And again, that is something I'm very, I'll show you guys some examples here of why I call it Gear 12 and Gear 12 Plus. But it's something you work together to get to Gear 13 and be able to apply relics to. So there's a big bottleneck in this game for a lot of different reasons, and I'll dive into how I farm each of these things, some tips and tricks you can do to not only overcome this bottleneck, but find that balance so that way you're not in a, you know, you don't get in this unbalanced situation where you're going to end up suffering, you know, your, your account's going to end up suffering. So let's dive into this video, but first and foremost, huge shout out to my channel members. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. If anybody's interested, there's a link in the description down below. Otherwise, make sure you like and subscribe. That is free, right? That thumbs up button really helps, but the subscribe button, guys, smash it, smash it, smash it. We're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers, and when we do, obviously special live stream and some special things will happen on that live stream. We don't know what it is yet, but I promise it'll be cool. So let's get into our game and talk about the Gear 12 and Gear 12 Plus bottleneck. So the first thing to cover here is that both are very free-to-play accessible. I I will give Capital Games a lot of credit here that both the left side, what I call Gear 12, and the right side, Gear 12 Plus, are both free-to-play accessible. They are not something that I think is trapped behind this insurmountable wall that you'll never be able to overcome. It's just about, as a free-to-play, finding that balance, and we'll kind of cover all those things. So the left side of Gear 12, right, these pieces over here. This I just call Gear 12 gear because it's... You know, it gives you some decent stats, right? It does give good stats. It's, it, you know, it's there's some solid stuff here. But the Gear 12 Plus side, that's when you're adding speed, taking huge jumps in health. It, the, the stats you get on the right side, the Gear 12 Plus, are far superior in a lot of ways than the stats you get on the, you know, side over here. So I do like to make sure that I differentiate between those two because... That right side, the Gear 12 Plus, obviously takes some different kinds of gear, takes some, I would, it's much harder to get to than just the, the left side. So we'll kind of cover all those things, make sure that we differentiate and how you can farm these. So let's go. So there are some things that are used twice. I want to talk about these ones first. There are certain pieces here that you're going to need on both the right and the left side. So this Mark 8 Nubian scanner is a great example where you need it not only there, but over here as well. See that Mark 8 Nubian scanner? It's going both ways. The same thing will go with these pieces right here, this med pack, and will also and also these uh, Mark 7 syringes. They go both ways, and I even think this piece goes both ways. So those relic pieces, as you guys can see, they go on both sides, and it sucks that you need a lot of those, but again, that's something that we can focus on and make sure that we're balancing our farms to have enough of those. So there is that aspect that some things are used twice, and those pieces are the examples there. So for the left side here, for this left side, I primarily focus on using my Guild Event Currency 1 for these things. Guild Event Currency 1 is going to be your best bet for a lot of this stuff because once you get all the characters you need out of Get 1, all of the rest of the stuff that goes there is available for other resources that you can get to very, very quickly without having to sacrifice buying you know this nice currency for this uh th this kind of gear for that you know with that get one you could buy core gear but you can use guild tokens for that there's daily challenges you've got them for mark one raid currency so this stuff right here buying it from get one is something that will help so much in your star wars galaxy of heroes career it is my bread and butter i've been doing that for a very long time that this stuff i mean get one once you get everything you need and with and you know get 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 uh, once you've acquired your Wampa and Hermit Yoda and all those shards you need with, you know, get one currency or using, you know, supplementing with the raid currency, whatever you're doing, it, it just becomes a, a joke. It becomes so easy. Now the right side is a lot more complex because with the left side, it's, I find that it's very easy to, Hey, you know, get one I'm using there. It's, it's so easy just to be able to focus on that once you're there with the right side, it's far more complex because there's certain pieces you're going to want to farm certain pieces you'll want to buy there's balancing acts here there's a lot more you need to think about with that right side because it's a lot more rare and it, it's just uh, it's a little more expensive 
couple things to keep in mind here for the right side is there are some really good fleet nodes one of my favorites being the mark 12 fusion furnace where you need a ton of these this stuff in here has some really good relic salvage so if you can find nodes with good relic salvage that will get you carbonite circuit boards or bronzium wirings do it same with even like the mark 12 uh, cuffs here these again offer some good salvage for you to be able to work on relic materials because you want to be kind of doing that two for one whenever you're doing whenever you're farming anything in this game on a on a node think about that two for one special what are you able to do your primary goal here is to get this mark 12 fusion furnace but if you can build up some relic materials along the way with it two birds one stone i'm very big on that it's how you can be very efficient in this game uh and let's compare that to say this thermal detonator piece here where okay we've got some stuff here but this isn't nearly as lucrative as some of the other pieces there and i'd say especially then if we go to the this piece here again where there's nothing fancy on that piece that's making me be like yeah you know what i really want to be farming that so look for those good fleet nodes and there's more than mark 12 fusion furnace but just look and see where that gear can be used in relics and it will help you a lot and make sure that the the conversion rate is also high as well we want to look for that conversion rate too the shard shop so shard shop currency is a great example of where you can buy a lot of this you know gear 12 gear and gear 12 plus now the shard shop for me is what i call a game time decision for those of you familiar with sports right game time decision means i'm gonna pop this thing open and instead of saying i'm gonna buy this or i'm gonna buy this it's hey do i need anything right now if not i'm gonna purchase just you know hoard what i can like i could theoretically buy all of this stuff because i need it i'd say that i normally lean more towards this these kind of materials the purple stuff because you need it on both sides and it's nice to accumulate a lot of it and that way i can farm the, like these pieces right here this is another good example of things i like to farm on a node uh whereas these things farming them on nodes isn't nearly as lucrative for relics so i like to buy this stuff out of the shard shop but it's a game time decision if i need these mark 12 fusion furnaces or i need these stun cuffs I'm going to be buying them out of here this is your one air this is the one big area that it's just a lot of times i say whatever you currently need that's what i would get out of here because you don't get a lot of it they, to have a ton of shard shop currency is pretty rare so buy what you need out of here at the current moment don't worry about like a i only buy these things out of the shard shop like just whatever you need in the current moment that's what i would do and i think you'll have a lot of success that way because it's just extra it's ancillary it's not something that you're going to every single day and being like i'm gonna buy the same thing just game time and that's kind of what makes that you know right side gear 12 plus a little bit more complex is that sometimes you might end up buying it out of the shard shop just because you need more of it um the next thing that kind of gets more complex with the you know like left side and the right side balancing those two things together and i'm, I'm kind of going like back and forth here i'm going like your right and my left and you know or whatever i can't even you know whatever um but mark ii raid currency is another one that we need to that's complex because you're gonna have to split it the big issue here with mark ii raid currency is there's actually some really good stuff in here so you think with mark ii raid currency you can get the, these pieces you can buy all like anything you need for mark ii raid currency is available so how do you want to split this thing up i'd purchase what you think you need but you need to kind of find that balance of what can i what do i want to farm and what do i want to buy um it's again it's not something that's an easy like you always buy this or you never buy this it's hey what what am i what, what you know it, like i think when um you know if i go back a step when we had the sith triumvirate raid and that was the way we were getting our rewards you would get a lot of these drops randomly like look i have you know 511 of these carbani pieces i've got 290 of these pieces and then i've only got like 56 of these it was random right look i got a thousand of these pieces it was random it, it wasn't even and so you, you know 900 of those things it, it was not even and so you would just get these random drops and it would at least help you kind of say hey i got something random i can use this somewhere else now that you can actually buy what you need it's really good except make sure that you're actually buying some of those things that might creep up on you and i think for newer players especially this is going to be harder because 
I will probably never need to farm this piece again because it doesn't come that often. And if you're not careful, you're going to be leveling up a character and then all of a sudden you're like, I don't have any of these. I need to buy them. And so it does get a little bit complex here with this new store that you've got to make sure you're balancing not just what's flashy. You think of those Mark 12 Fusion Furnaces or these hollow lenses where you need a lot of them. You really want to buy those, but don't forget that you also need stuff like this and these pieces here. So find that balance to figure out exactly what you need and then buy it out of here and make sure that you're not just focusing all on the left side or all on the right side, depending on, you know, and I guess left side, right side, depending on, you know, what you're looking at, right? So that is the Mark II raid currency. It is, that is the one area that I would say Capital Games has really tried to, I don't know if trap is the right word, but with this raid change, it is the one thing that was a negative is they're forcing the players to have to make the right decisions. Whereas before it was kind of easy to make the right choice because the raid would drop X and you could go farm Y and Z. Now you've got to decide, hey, I need to have X, Y, and Z. What do I actually, you know, how can I make sure that I purchase those things, farm them and all that stuff? It is a big, it is a big area that we need to make sure we are balancing because that was a huge change in this game. And again, I have Leia sitting here because we're obviously going to be getting her raid coming soon. So yeah, you've got to balance that spending. I like to think of it as well that what don't you want to farm on nodes? What, you know, it's it, it's crazy, but there's there, like, this is the gear 12 and gear 12 plus is so complex in terms of when it went from getting it in the Sith rate to now being able to actually buy what you need. It is far more complex now than what it used to be because you used to just say like everything, get one here. Otherwise, farm the other stuff and you're good to go. Now it's it's completely changed. Another thing here is you want to be like Shore Trooper, where you see how I can I don't have any pieces equipped to Shore Trooper. Whereas Death Trooper here, I've got some stuff, and Geno's and Brood, Al Brood Alpha, I've got some stuff. I highly recommend never equipping any of this gear unless like you're completely committed. But even then, I try not to because. Let's just use this Mark 12 Fusion, or uh, where's the Mark 12 Fusion Furnace? Who needs those pieces? GBA, that's right. So these Mark 12 Fusion Furnaces, GBA needs two of them. And then down here, he also needs more salvage. It's insane that he needs 150 of those. It's so annoying. So he needs all of those pieces. Then he also needs these pieces here. So there's, a, you know, it's a, he needs a lot of gear. I highly recommend not equipping any of those until you've got enough of it because maybe you get a full gear piece drop through territory battles, which I don't know if that actually happens anymore. Like it's been a while since I've gotten a full piece out of a territory battle. I think in the old Sith raid, you used to get a lot more full gear pieces that would kind of make this. I think this advice is more so like for the end, but personally, I don't like to equip any of these until I can completely upgrade a character like this because then I know that, hey, it, I know I'm going to relic shore trooper. I've got everything I need. I can throw it on because what you don't want to end up in a situation of is let's say that you've got a hundred of these pieces, you know, and say, or I've gotten, you know, look, 90 of these pieces and I've got 50 of these pieces. So I need to get 60 more of these and I need to get 30 more of these. If I would go and equip both of these things, right? If I go and, if I go and equip this one, and then I start working and I go and equip this. Now, the only thing that benefits me is these pieces, right? That I've gone ahead and I went and I farmed this piece and I farmed this piece. And now I'm in a position where, hey, the only thing that helps me is these Mark 12 fusion furnaces. So if in territory war rewards, you get some of these, well, you still have to farm this because you already equipped those things. So my advice is that, you know, you, when you're kind of doing this, you want to maybe, okay, farm a couple of these, farm a couple of these, farm a couple of these, farm a couple of these. The, you want to put yourself in a position where any gear drop of either of those two things helps you. Now, yes, it'll help you in the future, right? I'm not going to pretend it won't help you in the future, but think of the current state that if your GAC lock is tomorrow and you get some drops, you want it to help you either way. You don't want to put yourself in a position where you're waiting on one single piece. Obviously, it might happen, right? It's going to happen. Like, you know, we're not perfect. But you don't want to put yourself in a position where, you know, you need a very specific piece 
and you can't get it because you spent it on something else that you didn't need to. You know, that maybe I'm, I need these pieces and I have this piece sitting on my death trooper that I'm not planning to relic and I need it for my galactic legend Leia farm. Well, now I've got to sit there and farm those where if it wasn't sitting on him because he's not going to relics anytime soon, I could have used it there. So that's just something that I, you know, I, it's a lot less relevant now because you're not getting full pieces out of raids anymore. But I do think that it's worth noting that it's better just to kind of not equip that stuff. And I understand that there's speed increases and things, but I find that it's worth waiting for unless you're fully committed to that character. I just, I really prefer to wait. And I'll say especially, you know, early on, you'll probably be equipping those things because it helps you. I'd say as you progress, like at the point where I am, having a character with the gear 12 plus things, it's not going to make an impact in my account. Like I just may as well wait. But the last big thing with this, like one of the big bottlenecks here, and I think this is where we're going to kind of finish off the video and spend some time, is the fact that the Relic 6 all the way up to Relic 9, you need these pieces for salvage. That when you go in here and you go over to, you know, your start with the Electrum Conductors, you start needing Gear 12 gear, right? You start needing Gear 12 and Gear 12 Plus gear at for, you know, Electrum conductors, Zimbital cards, impulse detectors, and Gerda keypads. So it places another strain on this relic, on this resource that in reality is very free to play accessible. Like there's, it's very, you guys can see that there's a lot of ways to farm these things. There's a lot of ways to get there, but because they're needed for so many different areas, it can be very difficult to find yourself in a position where you've got plenty of anything because when you have too much of that gear, Oh, guess what? I need some relic materials. I'm going to do that. Oh, I've run out of relic materials, you know, or I've run out of this gear. Well, now I need to make, take characters from, you know, gear to relics and then I'll oh, crap them out. Like you're going to, that's what causes this bottleneck is if it just was used for gear, if that's all you use this stuff for, you'd be fine. You'd be like, wow, this, I have so much of this stuff laying around, but because it's also needed for those relic materials, that's how capital games get you. I cannot tell you how many more relic characters i would have if this stuff wasn't you know i'll say if the relic materials were also available you know other ways right hey i can't tell you how many more relics i'd have if i wasn't having to spend those resources to get those things because i've spent so much gear on salvage um so you know it's something that i really find balancing it that you can't just i feel like with the change to the raid and how currency is now it's a lot more about balancing those resources and like those areas like get one get one you've got to use for that left side because it's the one resource i'd say it's the one thing that makes this a little bit easier is that you always use it for the stuff you forget one because the get one the re everything else that you get with get one is available elsewhere for stuff that you can't purchase gear 12 gear four that right side is when it gets a lot more complex because you're mixing nodes you're mixing the shard shop mark two currency and then of course you are going to get some just uh, natural accumulation through territory battles territory war rewards the you know conquest even drops some of this stuff so there, there you know you do get some of this stuff over time but a lot of it is going to come from being able to balance your spending and ensuring that you're not just like throwing gear on characters that you're not going to end up using because that will add up over time and it will cost you. You might not think it will, but it definitely can cost you down the road. So hopefully in this rambling, it's kind of helped you guys understand this, you know, complex issue of gear 12, because I think that as it's so free to play accessible is because it's, so heavily needed and that because not all of these are used equally it creates far more problems for the player base because the stuff that you need all the time you never get enough of it so that's the video guys let me know your thoughts like subscribe comment and i'll see you on the next video may the force be with you and remember wampa is king see you guys cheers